Here's the Spider-Man 5 pack that came out quite a few months ago. The packaging doesn't show any of the figures at all. Like it doesn't show the actual figures or the accessories that it comes with. Look at that. At the back, it's just the character bio. So for someone who isn't really a toy collector and wants to buy these figures for someone, it would definitely be better if they show the figures and the accessories that they come with. Now let's get the figures out. I've always wondered how they pack these five pack figures and this is how they pack it. <laughs> Look at that. The figures are really going horizontal and vertical all over the place. <laughs> Anyways, here's the figures out of the packaging. And all of them have plenty of accessories except for Razorback. First up, let's take a look at Spidey. One thing I don't understand about this 5-pack is that the other 4 characters are based on the normal 616 Earth, but this Spidey is actually more towards Ultimate Spider-Man when he had the symbiote. He's on the Space Venom Ultimate Spider-Man body mold and has a very shiny purple paintwork, just like how the Ultimate Spider-Man had the purplish look when he had the symbiote on. Just like the Ultimate Spider-Man figure, this Spidey comes with 3 pairs of hands and the paintwork on it is quite decent. The Spider-Man logo is painted quite well but I feel the edges of the eyes could have been a bit sharper. You can see that it kind of slightly bleed into the purple area. Here's the back. The spider symbol is painted quite okay. And here's all the Spideys on this Ultimate Spider-Man body mold. I don't understand why they made this figure on this body when they had a better body mold like the Gamerverse Miles Spidey, where the figure even had shoulder butterfly joints. I guess at the very least, the eyes are sculpted differently. This one is really solid white, whereas for this one, the black part is sculpted over the white area. Next up is Silvermane. He comes with a pair of fists, trigger finger hand, and a pair of guns. The guns have a unique sculpt and looks really good. I'm not sure if these guns have been used for other figures or not. The Silverman figure uses the body of Ultimate Beetle and uses the same head as the one that came with Speed Demon. The only thing that is new here are the arms. The bicep area is looking kind of small but because they are new, they have the pinless elbow joints unlike the knee joints which has the pins because it is a reuse of an old body mold. Even though it is a reused head, the paintwork made all the difference because with better paintwork, the head sculpt actually looks so much better compared to this first version. Here they are side by side and you can even see the freckles on the new head. The paintwork really makes all the difference. They have a different shade of silver, the older one is darker. And this body mold is kind of scary because it has a history of really brittle thigh swivel joint. Look at this. Especially for this Ultron. I have like more than 5 of these and every single one of them have a broken thigh swivel joint. Either one side of the legs or both. And here they are side by side. You can see that the body mold is exactly the same with these circular parts and also the two-toed feet. Here's the back. Of course, definitely the same with the hole right at the center. And one last thing is that in the 90s, his appearance is mostly such that you can see the wires all over his body. But the figure that we got here is really all covered up. You can't see any wires. But I guess it's still okay because he's kind of a cybernetic being. So yeah. Here's the human fly. And honestly, I've not even heard of this character. <laughs> the figure comes with a pair of fists, gripping hands, and also the wings. You simply attach the wings to this small backpack over here there and it is able to articulate a bit and you simply just attach it to the back of the figure. The most amazing thing about this figure is that it is on the Bucky Cat body mold like Hasbro is really not done with the Bucky Cat body. <laughs> the appearance is straightforward and pretty much accurate to the comics. Nothing much to say about this figure. Except maybe for this expression. I don't know what to say about this. We sometimes complain about getting a neutral face. But on the other extreme end, sometimes Hasbro gives us this screaming expression. <laughs> Next is Molten Man. The figure comes with a pair of fiery hands, a pair of fists, and three fire effects. We have this normal twirly effects that can go around the forearms. And this fire effect that goes on his back. It's really disappointing that the figure is on the Sunfire body mold and not on the Vulcan body. So you still have those pins on the elbow and knee joints. 
and not to mention that the Vulcan body does look kind of slightly bigger than this Sunfire body. So he's just totally gold at the front and at the back. The head sculpt kind of reminds me of a Shankan version of Nuke. And yeah, nothing much to say about this figure. In the comics, I think he is usually drawn to be kind of the normal human-sized person. But I really do think that this figure could have been on a slightly bigger body mold. And last but not least, Razorback. Again, this is a character that I didn't know existed. I actually read the Hunted storyline, but I just didn't notice the human fly and this Razorback character. His appearance is pretty much exactly like how he appeared in the comics. And the sculpt of this whole thing is really, actually quite excellent. <laughs> he does kind of have a smiley face. Here's a side view. And of course, this whole thing hinders the articulation. He can't really look left and right much, just like that. Definitely no up and down. And this whole head is one solid piece of plastic that is glued to the head. Slightly rubbery and soft. Yeah. So yeah, to me, this whole set really isn't quite worth it. I only got this set because it went on sale, I think about 30% off retail price. And that's why I got it. I'm not really into the characters of Human Fly and Razorback, so I'm probably going to sell them off. I do like the shiny purple on the symbiote Spidey. Silverman and Molterman is kind of okay-ish, and they are definitely Spider-Man villains, so I'm keeping both of them. Thanks for watching this quick review. Do subscribe and check out my other reviews.